Hi, I'm Eddie Archer and I've been installing roofing systems for over 20 years. And if there's one question that I'm asked frequently is how to replace a flat roof and make it leak free for life. Traditionally, roofers have installed bitumen based flat roofs. And if you speak to anyone who's lived in a house with one for more than a few years, they'll tell you that they leak more frequently than they should however good the original installation has been. For customers who want a completely leak-free flat roof, I always discuss with them the option of a GRP system. And whilst it's not a term that everyone is familiar with, if I call it by its common name, fiberglass, you'll remember seeing it on cars, ponds, even boats. Places where it has to be tough, durable and completely watertight, even under extreme wet conditions like underwater. And if I show you a GRP roof, you'll probably remember seeing one before, and possibly in a whole range of different colours too. OK, so now you know what GRP is. How long does it last? And can it be used for anything else? Let's ask an expert. Made by the UK's largest supplier of GRP roofing materials, a high quality GRP roofing system, like Curit, lasts for so long that nobody has been able to give an accurate estimate of its lifetime. But studies have given estimates in excess of 50 years. What makes the system really attractive to installers and customers is the fact that it's cold laid, with or without insulation, and is fire retardant, and can be used practically anywhere. Plus, Curit is backed by a 20 year guarantee on materials, which backs up the installer's own work guarantee. Anyway, however long it lasts, it won't be you that needs to replace it. And when you come to sell your house, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that the surveyor can't ask you to reduce the price because it needs replacing. Because it simply won't ever need to be done. <laughs> Not in your lifetime, anyway. As well as being the ultimate long lasting waterproof system, GRP is also extremely versatile. It's often used as a system of choice for flat roofs, non-slip walkways, balconies, stairs, green roofs, bare windows or vertical cladding. And it can fit practically any shape, even being used within a pitch roof construction by some customers. We've got a GRP flat roof on our garage and we've had it for 10 years. It's absolutely brilliant. Previous to that, we had a felt roof on the garage and it was a nightmare. It's been utterly trouble free and it's definitely added value to our property. I'd recommend the product to anybody. The best thing about installing a Curit GRP roof is that it's quick and easy to do, with the average job taking one day, depending on how big the area to be replaced is. For roofers and builders who've never installed a Curit GRP roofing system, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. It's a simple two-man job, and if you're interested, you can always attend a demo or training day. Start by removing the original roofing material. Put some umph into it, and you'll have it done by your first tea break. You'll need enough TNG to cover the area you're working in. The one I'm doing is about 20 square metres, which is about 15 sheets of OSB3 18mm, or indeed any 18mm exterior grade ply. Oh, and you need some ring shank nails as well. You'll need some preformed GRP trims, some trim adhesive, and some GRP bandage. One roll is enough for about 65 metres. Then, for your main roof, you need a roll of chopped strand mat, some resin, and a catalyst, which is basically a harder for your resin and top coat. Plus, you'll also need a colour top coat. And don't worry about trying to work all this lot out. You can always use the ready rack now. As for tools, you need a couple of rollers. This type for applying the resin and colour top coat, plus the really important paddle roller, which is used to remove all the air from the laminate. Apart from the rollers, you also need a couple of brushes for the detail work and a sanding block, but make sure it's at least 40 grit.
We're going to start by putting the decking right onto the roof joist. Hey, and do it securely. They're going to be in another 50 years. You can now start to install the perimeter of the roof in the usual way. It's all the drip trims, cutting them to size with the angle grinder, and then when they're ready, attach them direct to the roof decking. Now add your upstands to form the sides. And finally, a fillet trim to the wall to complete the surrounding area. You all right, your end? Yeah. Remember to use your trim adhesive to bond trims together and for bonding the trims to the sides. Before you start on the main part of the job, it's essential that you get all of your materials cut to size. Take your one metre roll of chopped strand mat and cut it to the length you require. But make sure you allow for a 50mm overlap along each side. Once you've got everything cut to size, then you're ready to start. We're now going to use the GRP bandage to form a seal between the trim and the decking. Follow the instructions on the hardener addition chart for mixing the resin and the catalyst together. If it's a cold day, use a little more. If it's a hot day, Use a little less. OK, so now it's time for the main GRP covering. Using the one metre wide chopped strand mat, I'm going to work in about one square metres at a time. To do this, you need to mix some resin and catalyst together. Just enough to make sure it doesn't go off before you finish using it. Before you've done your first GRP roof, you'll get the feel of it. Remember to use a harden addition chart when you need it. Begin at the furthest point from the ladder. Take your roller and apply pre-mixed resin over an area of about one square metre. This will take roughly three rollers full of resin to do this. Using the pre-cut length of chopped strand mat that you prepared at the start of the job, roll about one square metre away from the main wall. And when it's over the top of the area you've coated, Apply more premixed resin on top. It'll take about six rollers full of resin to coat the top of the mat completely. Wait for one minute. Then get the paddle roller and go over the area a few times until the laminate looks transparent. We're going to repeat this process until all the pre-prepared materials have been used, laying the next strip of chopped strand mat at the side of the first one with about 50mm overlap between each layer and repeat the process again, carrying on until the entire roof is finished. Right then, once you've finished, there's time for half an hour break, giving the area enough time to cure. Ah. Run to the sanding stage now. Get your 40 grit sandpaper and work from the driest areas first, then lightly sand the entire roof space blending in the bandaged edges so that the finish looks good when looking from below. Flattening any loose strands and also making sure the whole area is keyed in so that your colour top coat goes on easily. Now we're into the final stages of the job and all you have left to do is to add the colour top coat in whatever colour your customer has ordered from you. It's available in graphite grey as standard but for customers who want something a little different, there are a wide range of colours available. Pretty much any colour they want. Plus, 
There's also a choice of non-slip finishes to choose from, if it's an area where there's going to be traffic walking across the finish. Simply apply the top coat using the same amount of hardener as you did earlier when making the resin and finish the job with simulated lead flashing. That's all there is to it, really. A job to be proud of. You'll enjoy installing it. Your customers will appreciate the value it adds to the home. And it is simply the best flat roofing system on the market. And it'll still look good when you bring your grandchildren back and show them in 30 years' time. <laughs> <laughs>